Hello everyone, welcome to another Last Epoch live stream. This is our level 85 B Rogue, and we're in some quest echoes right now, level 90 stuff, trying to get through to the empowered stuff. <laughs> I'm letting everyone know on discord.gg slash askjoshi that we're playing as well, so they can join the chat. You should join the chat too, if you're watching this VOD. Later on, I do stream every 7 to 9 p.m. Pacific. Pretty much every, pretty much every. 7 to 9 Pacific. Um... Here's our build. We throw out a decoy and some bees come out and then we throw flasks at them a bunch and then we kind of weave in some right clicks to regenerate mana when it looks safe. Uh, and then we have this bird attack. That's our W and it's quite strong against single targets as well. But the thing that the bees do, and the whole reason this is a bees rogue, we've got three decoy charges essentially before we run out. Um, well, two decoy charges but short cooldown. Um, you can get 24 bees at a time, and they, when hit by flasks, increase your frostbite application because of other gear that we're wearing. So they're frost bees, freeze bees, if you will. And so our whole deal is trying to raise uh, cold damage, throwing damage because our falconer, our flasks, our decoys are all throwing. Hello the Choco Milk, welcome. I have not seen your name in the YouTube chat before, so let me know, uh, are you a last talk enjoyer yourself? And Q Eddie is here as well, I was just explaining the freeze bees. But now you can just see it in action, basically. And this is just a quest echo, so we're just blasting through the little objectives here. The decoys actually do a lot of damage themselves. And the hawk attack as well. Um, you'll see my bird actually throwing flasks quite often. That's part of his deal. Although it looks like he's just kind of pooping icicles. <laughs> Um, but ideally I just enter the room with decoy, bird strike, and that happens and they all die. And then I just wait for, you know, these flasks in the interim. I should get better at hit and run tactics now that we're getting into higher level stuff because I was dying earlier, now my survivability is a bit higher. Alright, here's a mage we can show a single target a bit. So that's two decoys, bird strike, and then we flask into a bit. And we should see the frostbite stacks go up and up and up, but he can kill the bees too. So you can see the number of bees in the top left at any time. There, we got up to 200 that time. Uh, but it can go up to 500 if I get lucky and he doesn't kill any right away. Dang, this is a lot of help. There's 300 stacks I saw there. I'm not using any execute right now, which I could change shift to be into execute instead of dropping flasks because I think execute might actually just be more damage at this point based on how much I'm using it. And like bosses, that's a lot of health for one shift. <laughs> so I might respec shift a bit. That's a lot of bees. We did find a bug where I was able to get 192 bees. Did you see that? There's a short on the YouTube channel. Um, or a video actually, not even a short. It's called 192 bees versus bosses experiment. I figured out that in the dungeons, whenever you go to a harder difficulty, it multiplies your bees. Uh, but then they all just fall over dead. So can't really do anything with them. If there was a way to preserve 192 bees, that would be incredible, but otherwise it's just going to have to be cooldown reduction and more decoys. Yep, that's it. <laughs> Alright, so we, we have some target loot. Oh, I should explain the potions thing too when, once. Uh, I did find an upgraded potion chest, so let me show that off once we get safe. I'll clear this objective. The level 80 VOD got 300 clicks or something like that, so people are clearly somewhat interested in the bees. And it is going better now than it was in that stream because I was able to get some more survivability. And I'll show you uh, the other gear changes since last stream. Okay. 
So the potion thing, I got a new potion chest. It's only slightly better, but it's got plus two potion slots instead of plus one potion slots. So that's amazing. Um, and it was basically, I think it was better in all ways. No, just a little bit of less damage over time and resist all. But it consumes an additional flask that deals 132% more damage. This one consumes an additional flask that deals 163% more damage. Oh, just notice that. That's not listed in the difference here. That's 31% more damage. That's a lot. Never mind. We're not going to use another potion slot. Yeah, the dodge rating. 14% dodge rating, though. Hmm. 849 up to 893. Because we have other benefits to dodge rating, like percentage benefits. Uh. Dodge rating in potion versus. 30 something percent? That's tough. I'm gonna go with the percent higher, actually. The damage seems like a uh, priority at the moment. Um, but yeah, it uses health potions as additional flasks. So I basically never have health potions, but I'm also using a belt that says find more potions. So. We are looking for a freeze rate multiplier, I have actually read and understand now. Basically, you just really want a really high freeze rate multiplier, and chance to chill on hit has nothing to do with it. It's just cold skills in general can freeze. So as long as your freeze rate multiplier is really high, which mine is plus 664%. My cold damage is plus 461%. Oh, and I found another main hand. Let me show that off too. I found another main hand that we added 72% increased elemental damage and plus 9% cold pen and minion cold pen. So the bird benefits as well with his ice flasks. So I think that's why we're pump pumping a bit more damage now. It's because we got the upgrade on that main hand. And I've just learned that decoy and bird strike are like much more damage than the flasks now so my whole deal as the rogue now as the actual character that we're playing should be just stay alive run away from things drop decoys between me and bad guys and then pick up potions so that i can use them as heavy damage flasks that's basically all i should be doing but right click reloads my mana with flurry so i get tempted to just run in and beat the hell out of them and also they freeze a lot right? so <laughs> As long as I'm not getting one shot, I think we're doing okay. And that that echo went very smoothly, so I'm pretty glad about that. That was a quest echo. We got the magma caverns and the volcanic shaman that we have to defeat now. And we've done this one a bunch on our other fire characters, so I know the deal already in this place. Lots of zombies will come out of the ground, and then we'll turn around and kill all of them, basically, at one time. <laughs> and I think things are weak to ice in here? That doesn't really make sense, because I think fire is supposed to be strong against ice, right? Or are they just counter completely? Mm -hmm. They must just be counter completely. It feels like they fall over a lot faster than my fire characters. <laughs> Definitely faster than them, because they are resistant to fire. Maybe it's just a benefit of not being fire that I'm feeling. Why did I allow this guy to come out? What a jerk. I hate this guy. He can actually kill me, because I can't see his effects very well. <laughs> but we can, he can also freeze sometimes. Oh, the zombies finally caught up with me? All right. He dropped uh, ward on kill and ward decay threshold. Let's see that. Big explosion. 
comes from this guy. have still a lot of health. My goodness. Alright. Onward. Picking up potions because they are basically ammo. And my bird just uses them. <laughs> I don't have any say in the matter, he just loves throwing my potions away. But he is lethal. He's lethal with them, so it's okay. If he was just wasting them, I'd be sad. Ooh, increased area with acid flask. That is something we can at least peel off. For shards. So the decoy exploding is doing several things actually. It's dropping their frost resist, stunning them, chance to freeze them. So the decoy's great. I would actually like to lower the cooldown on decoy more somehow, but I've already got two charges and the uh, skill points in it, I believe. See how fast that thing died? That was sick. That's awesome. I want everything to die. <laughs> But those flame giants are nasty. damage belt? Mm. Ow. Is that gonna kill me? Oh. <laughs> I just was like, I know I'm not getting out of this. Is that gonna kill me? All right, how many stacks can I get on this guy? I see 370, 460. Uh, do, 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 from such great heights. Blah, 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 they'll say. Down, down, now. Old fire giant. My old friend. Pick up these health potions. Plus all our, all his buddies that exist. I guess we should kill the easier guy first. Freaking fire giant. 
guns for real. Alright. Oh, that was it. Okay. And now Volcanic Shaman boss fight. To clear the monolith. Very hard to see their effects, huh? Basically, you just need to stay on their outsides, like perimeter. something. 62. So you want these guys all to die within seconds of each other, or like a second of each other basically. This could be difficult, I'm not sure. I don't have an execute, so I'm not going to accidentally execute anybody. Right? They might die to damage over time, huh? 19, 16, 13. Okay, let's kill this guy. Out on the edge here. Can I get them all at once? Hey, that was pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Fire resistance, fire damage, armor while channeling. Gotta be resistance. Take what I can get on that. And we can use less in other places. I'm at 102% on that now. I don't think I have any fire specific in here. No, okay. But we win. Logie's Hunger doesn't matter to us. Two-handed Mace also doesn't matter to us. I shouldn't even pick up the other one. but All right, another mono down. So I think that leaves... We have to do the last Ruin before we can empower. Is that correct? Actually, don't know if that's a requirement or not. We'll find out here in a second. Okay, it looks like this is saying I have completed two of the three, and now I have to go do this last one, which I think we're on the boss. Because I think I just abandoned earlier at the boss. Yeah. Gaspar. So Gaspar is multiple resistances. And he takes a second to show up, and he kills my bees, so he's very annoying. This thing killed my bees. So I should just wait. And this kills my bees. So. Is that gonna kill me? No, I'm good. Let's just clear that then. What the hell was that? I couldn't even tell what that was. There was just shit over my head. Hello? Try again, I guess. What? What was that supposed to be? Was he hitting my bird? <laughs> she was in space. Ah, bees, they died so fast. Burn, 
for one of the games real fast. Oh, I see the void ex swirls now. What the hell? Okay. I couldn't even see them the first time, I promise. That was very weird. So you just have to get to the middle for that. So after the spin around, he does fire mines. That's when he didn't even want to show up. Dosey do. Spin your partner round and round. Now, fire mines, void circles. Where? They're in the sky, bro! <laughs> Dodge lightning things because it can stun you. Void circles. Okay, thankfully I know roughly where to stand because that would have annoyed the hell out of me and still might. Like, why are they bugged? <laughs> do -si -do. Stand on her forehead, that's all I know to do. Come on now, I don't want to die to that. <laughs> I feel like I can't control my guy sometimes. That's not good. Void, forehead. What? I was standing there every time. Okay, the void explosion should not have sent me back like that. Highly annoying. <laughs> and sometimes it feels like you're on skates. Like, why? Why am I on skates? There's no frost on the ground. Okay, annoying piece of garbage. I'd like to win now. Oh, 
fire thingies. And void thingy. Don't know where to stand because it's in freaking space. I don't know what my hitbox is. Dash goes 8,000 miles. <laughs> Void explosion. Ghosty goes coming out. Oh, did he stop because I froze him? Oh, that's some tech. The decoy stopped his spin around. Is it void time or not? Now he's just saying burn wretches a lot. There's void time. Eh. No, the decoy didn't freeze him. Shit, 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 that plan didn't work. <laughs> oh god. Void? Can't tell? Okay. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> Void. Burn. Clear some space. There must be a very specific spot where you can maybe freeze them. Where is this fool? Where'd he go? There he is. No, I hate the void. I hate the void. Because I can't see the void. Okay. We got him! 40% increased suffix shard, class specific shard, or body armor. Those class specific are the rarer ones, right? My poor. They're still fighting? Come on, guys. We don't need to fight anymore. We've won. Boop. So now we can go empower monoliths. Hooray. Now we go see if we get destroyed. <laughs> All right, empowering 85 is pretty good. So I don't think I have anything I'm chasing necessarily. I guess I want to improve my various blessings though. So we'll start at the bottom. Cold damage would be heal rot, I believe. Did we take freeze rate multiplier from him last time? Age of winter, we took chance to shred cold resistance on hit. I don't know if that's better or worse than just damage. Probably not better than just damage. Uh, 
Hmm, hard to know, hard to know. Because that is a unique thing that I don't think I have on other items. But let's uh, hop in here and get more increased uniques if we can. All right, so we're jumping now from 90 and zero corruption to 100 and 100 corruption. So I could get flattened. I only have a thousand health. And I have no idea how well we're gonna do. I should be able to beat the Temporal Sanctum level 2 uh, now. Okay, let's back up. Back it up. Oh, right. He was in the freaking bubble, so throwing attacks don't. <laughs> I was like, that's doing nothing. I didn't see the bubble. Okay. Slow and steady. He's doing all right. Okay. Some of my least favorite mobs, though. Blood peeking birds. Die pretty quick. Throw a decoy first. Not bad. Okay, this looks like a lot of stuff, but it is a lot of stuff. <laughs> Where did these come from? Oh, is this the ambush? Oh shit! <laughs> that went poorly. Dang, that was the objective. I could've just killed them in one. <laughs> is my fizz maxed? It is. Okay, good. Just wanted to be sure. Okay, that guy doesn't want to be near me. How big of an attack is that? Am I safe? <laughs> Oh, he does a big blood ball and a ground slam. All right, well, that guy sucks. Okay. 
how many there are of them. Oh no, I'm scared. All hopping around, nimbly bimbly. don't want to get hit by that because I have no necrotic death. Like me, something like that. Did it. I cleared an empowered echo. Yay! Pew pew pew. Throwing damage minus five and dodge rating. Man, that's a good ring. Okay, so now that I'm able to clear empowered echoes, um, there's got to be. Yeah, we can add something to our hat. I think that's all I have with Legendary Power, though. I have a Siphon of Anguish. Oh, these are both minus four throwing? I did not even realize that. Dang. Yeah, my flasks are cheap, brother. These are just great rings. 38 Donner. Man, I got pretty lucky on those. All right. Um. Yeah, until we find some new shoes or armor, or neck. Like, the stuff that I'm using is pretty locked in. We could improve our hat with some cold damage or something. Forty-two percent increased armor would be pretty slick. Hang on. Although dodge really is what I'm looking for more so. Um, what do we got here? Endurance. Oh, that's a sentinel hat. Ward with smoke bomb? No, 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 no. Dodge rating, falconry, and minion damage. Mage helmet. Mage, mage, mage. Okay, here are the rogue helmets. Crit avoidance. Plus three falconry and 74% increased minion damage. Is that this button? Falcon strikes? Is that falconry? Hang on. Wait, why do I have skills to use here? Wait a second. Why? Why do I have skills to use here? I don't like that. That means they fell off at some point. Right? I don't remember what I had. I'm confused now. I think I want more slow chance. Or armor shred. It's probably better. I don't need the mana efficiency because I got the double rings. 
and decoy fears enemies. I said I wanted cooldown, but there's no other cooldown stuff, right? Oh, there is. Oh, it's a longer cooldown. No, 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 no. <laughs> All explosion damage we're not really worried about. Frailty and armor shred stacks seem good to me. But fear could be fun. I think this makes the most sense for, for the shred. All right. Um, so I could improve my hat. That was what we were looking at, my bad. Keep looking at other things here. Plus three to falconry though was the weird one. So is that my skill or not? Falconry. Falconry, yes, okay. So I had two different plus three to falconry hats. This one's got dodge rating and shadow stuff. We'll ditch the shadow stuff, maybe. Falconry is not our objective here. Hang on. It's not, not that good. Dodge rating. This is a lower dodge rating. Mana, shadows, armor. Synchronized strike. No. No. No, no. Boop, boop, do Health. Multi shot armor. Endurance. I do need endurance still. I do need almost that much endurance, actually. Almost right that much. Uh, armor shred duration, mana, and health. Those are workable. Necrotic resistance, 44% armor, plus 4 to decoy and 82% increased throwing damage. And plus 55 endurance threshold dodge. Of, okay, this is the one. This is the one, clearly. The others can stop imitating. <laughs> if we're going to melt a hat, it's going to be that good. But wait, what if we miss the plus 4 decoy? Because there's only 1 LP on it. That's too good. The hat is too good to risk on a 25 percenter. So do we take a more balanced one? I think we take a more balanced one because I don't want to waste it. Okay, we're taking endurance. <laughs> I'm taking the endurance hat. Also, I might not even kill the boss. Let's go find out. Temporal Sanctum. Pew. We're trying to improve our hat by doing Temporal Sanctum Tier 2. I've never completed it with this character yet. But now my character's much stronger than it was. And I have bees, the power of bees. More rats come to more at the edges of my sanctum. Too easy. Oh, what was that? Blast knife. I've got so many blast knives now. I want another uh, shift one. Things are getting annihilated. All right. Do 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 do. 
Sanctum Cloisters. Or bees will multiply? No. What's this? Did they patch it? <laughs> they? <Manipulating laughs> the, the bees normally multiply there. I'll test it again. But that's normally where the bees multiply, and they didn't. And they did it yesterday. So that's interesting. I should read the patch notes and see if they patched the bees. I do feel pretty good now compared to yesterday or whatever, two streams ago, two days ago. One stream ago, two days ago. <laughs> like that, exploding them like that, pretty good. Pretty good feeling. They don't explode each other, so it doesn't really matter how many targets there are. I think some of the other builds were a little more dependent, like they like to have a lot more targets. This one they don't even blow up though. Like, like to deal damage to each other. Okay, I don't believe so. It's all me and the bird and the bees and the decoys. The decoys. With the freeze bees. Okay, that hurt. Lesson learned. God, they die so fast to the bird strike. Should not be in melee, those, some of those guys hit hard. Alright, boss time. Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. Just play good. Don't mess it up. <laughs> 64 bees! <laughs> Epoch, I will have a... B, 1-1000, 2-1000, 3-1000. I'm 
Okay, we need the fountain to die, unfortunately. I need to not shift time anymore and just not get hit by one shots. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. That's a one shot. That's not a one shot. That is a one shot. I didn't realize it got progressively bigger. Now I know. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. The lightning thingies. I guess they only get progressively bigger if you actually stand in them. Maybe that was freezing air? Is that what happened? 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000. I was a little worried I went early there. Why was that a skew? Why was that a skew? That was terrifying. No, brother! Is she gonna die after the fact? Hold on. They were like this! She has 1% health! Come on! What was that? Garbage! Dude. Good thing I have 5 million keys and don't really care. Awful. Let's go get some more XP in the hallways. So we can die on 1%. What was that, dude? I've never seen that happen anyway. One percent. Oh well. I should really pick up that shift execute at this point. If I had shift execute, that was
Maybe. <laughs> Tired of this place. Just smashing mobs and the boss can one shot you. Start all over. the door. Thank God. I hate this place now. <laughs> Such power. There is My bees! No, oh, they're gone. Guy's on the other side, he's cheating.
Okay, I've almost earned the right to almost get one shot again. Can I kill this guy through the wall? Oh well, nerd. Loser, idiot. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'd be tempting too much feet. Jumping in like that. Boss lady, please just <clears throat> don't one-shot me. That's all. Just don't one-shot me. Okay. Okay. 64 bees, and they're all going to die. It's very sad. Save the bees. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. She has lightning. We have to switch to those. Have to stop them. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three of those. Two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Lightning. Water. Lightning. Time shift. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Water. Oh, these stupid things. I didn't know they were going to come back. No. Can I finish her? Jesus. Three relics to choose from. Please let them be blasting thingy. No. <laughs> That's bee related, but it's not me related. Melvern's writ. Crossbow mercenaries, minion bow damage, bloody nib. Wow, some. cool stuff we got there. And a star dial and a thingy. Okay, let's go get a new hat. Upgrade. So the hat we brought along is this one because endurance would be good to have. Health would be good to have. Percent mana we don't actually need. So I could try to chaos roll that away. Armor shred duration is confusing because we do physical, physical. Everything is physical, so I guess that's fine. Except the decoy. But sometimes Armor Shred translates into Cold Resist Shred, so I don't know if it's going to work properly. If I try to Chaos Roll the mana and we get something worse, that's extremely likely. I think we are going to toss mana. We're going to try to Chaos Roll mana one time. Why not? Because we don't want it anyway. I only have four mana Affix Shard? How could that be possible? I guess I'm not picking them up. <gasps> we got Dex! That's amazing! <laughs> That's incredible! We use, de we use a lot of Dex. Alright, sick. So, let's get off of Chaos. Onto Hope. 
And do I just do I just have no increased armor shred duration shards? I guess not. Spin that up. Okay, so we just hope we don't hit. I guess armor shred duration is the worst technically because we want we want endurance and health would be second best. B hat, seal it. What do we get? Drum roll. Brrr, bing. Armor shred duration. Damn it! Isn't this thing I said I wanted least? So, armor shred. Armor shred duration. Is that listed somewhere? Because I know we have with the flask this armor shred. As if has a chance to shred armor. And then on the decoy it says, if you have taken frostfire powder, instead inflicts cold resistance shred. So I think it's gonna be shredding cold resist anyway. So I think it is still beneficial as damage. But it was our, we wanted defensive. So that was the real issue. That's the real problem. I wanted that 22% endurance. It's juicy. All right, let's get rid of these huge uniques that we were not using currently. Dang, we got fourth, fourth desired stat on that one. All right, and I have nothing else to roll, so we're just gonna go kill stuff, I guess. Get some, get some loot. Gotta get some LP on what? One, two, three, four, five, five different things. Just gotta find them. Okay, armor shred duration. But am I constantly shredding? Or are they just dying right away? Like, man, I really would have liked to have endurance there instead. Upgrade's an upgrade. Okay, I can't even really tell how shredded they are, you know? That's the thing that kind of annoys me. I mean, they're either dying instantly, right? Or, oh shoot. I forgot where we were for a second. <laughs> Some bad boys in here. They're either dying instantly, so shred doesn't matter. You know, like duration obviously doesn't matter if they're dying instantly. Or, I don't know what, if there's like a symbol I need to be looking for. I guess we'll see on the next like high HP target. I'll look. I think we should go ahead and change shift to execute as well right now. Let's finish the let's finish the echo. But I think we're gonna change shift to no longer drop a flask because it's just like so inconsequential, so negligible. But the execute could be like a ton of damage against a boss and just save us a lot of heartache. And a 1% wipe. <laughs> Where am I going? This way. Okay, there's a high health target, but he might actually kill me, so I'm just gonna pass. Oh. Scepter with cold damage, we like that. In case we find frozen iron. Not using that on this build. What does Cold Shred look like? I mean, I guess he died really fast, so... <laughs> I 
it was, it was good. Singularity, 15% more hit damage if you have only one singularity equipped, you cannot deal crits. What is my crit rate? 8%. 15% is greater than 8% by quite a bit. <laughs> Hmm, I'm tempted to use the Singularity. Over a 3% elemental resist and 21 armor? Or some void resist? Let's see how that goes. Uh, okay, so shift, we're gonna change the skill on as well. Hey, successful clear, we did it. Um, all right, so what I have here now is this flask business, all these points down here. I like invulnerability while shifting, but these like five points could go to one, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna do that. Remove points, bam, yes, bam, yes. These acid flasks are so few and far between, they're not useful. So we're going to go up to hit enemies along your path and kill threshold uh, whatever percent that goes up to. Is it 16% actually? That's sick. All right. So let's get back into the arena. Not an actual arena. The Harvested Titan is what I meant to say. And try not to die! Try not to die! Void is my lowest resist, or is it necrotic? Void is, okay. Oh, I hate those crabs. They're mean. But I guess I should always be moving, so. Already got a skill up. They're both gonna do it. No, I was I was tapping E and it didn't shift. Meh. Meh. I can't kill him. There we go. Alright, now I have a 4% execute. Did that not die? Oh my god! I walked away because I thought I was dead. Has a sliver of health. <laughs> I thought my frostbite was more powerful than that. I thought my bees and my falcon were were having my back here. I'm tired of dying. I tried to make a better hat and I couldn't even make a better hat. Too easy. All right, new X 
XQ, 8%. did a lot of damage very rapidly. What the hell? Was I standing in it and didn't notice? I hate that. I can't see this one at all on this map. Literally no clue if it was even firing <laughs> anything. Do, 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 do. Here's an arena. Let's see if I get bashed down in there. Ow. I just run in a box like this. Just picking up potions. So tempted to jump in, but I think I'll die. <laughs> Just let the bees do the work. Twelve percent. Go, go, go. Bing bong bomb. Let's hit level eighty six. Oh yeah, Caltrop Shred Armor too. I am dropping some Caltrops. Let's see if this guy destroys me. Where am I? Hello? My decoy charges. I'm certainly dead here. I didn't mean to attract the whole dungeon. <laughs> that sucked.
Are you not dead? Please die. Jeez, I guess I need to pay more attention to actually finishing off targets. Huh? Execute. Let's go. Where are we going? <laughs> Waiting for an ambush, it seems. This time, I was ready. <laughs> to dive bomb, melee on hit. Oh, on melee hit. Melee on hit. <laughs> Health on melee hit. Sinking city. Let's hit 86. But not die. I do like seeing Frostbite go up to 300 stacks, so that's pretty fun. That's like the one. That's the thing that the bees do. You occasionally get from the bees is the Frostbite stacks go to 500. These guys are annoying. Oh, and he rezzed, and I didn't notice. I almost died. Jesus. I'm trying to read loot. That's it. <laughs> so unforgiving. Throw. Ooh, throwing damage. And also, why doesn't that guy have a health bar still? What year is it? What? Oh, 
Okay. I guess I, I have to accept that one because I don't know what happened. I guess they popped out of the ground and smacked me at the same time. Easy. Too easy. I gotta re respect the physical damage squid billies, I guess. Passive point. So we finish the endurance thing. I put a point here into health and dodge rating so that I could put a point here. I like percentage mana regen and dodge rating. I think that'll be good for us. Okay. Slay enemies. So we're doing here. Slay enemies. We have to finish our targets because we got a lot of health. with mage. Well, it is clear now. That's, that's fine. I'm curious. What? Really? Okay. Curiosity sated. Not fighting those douchebags anymore. Stupid blood birds instead. God. That's not the right way, stupid. Too many bloodbirds. Just like. Shit, man. Can't even see. <laughs> like, there's so many stupid attacks. <sighs> I hate the bloodbirds. 
they're very powerful and very difficult to see their attack. And three at once is a bit ridiculous. Okay, those are huge at least. Easy to see. What? From who? From why? It's just like, ding! Now your health is all gone. Well, I'm not sure how we're going to kill this. That wasn't even the guy? Now I'm confused. Die, Spire, die. Dodge. Alright. One more. I thought that was gonna hit me because I couldn't navigate the damn stairs. Jeez. Tried to shift down them and they went nowhere. <laughs> Are there three blood spires this whole time? What is the range on these guys? Stacks, I saw. Oh, there were three the whole time. That was tough. That was a lot of footwork. Jesus. Okay. Oh, what time is it? Eight thirty-six. Um, I 
don't think we're going to hit 87 on this stream. Let me think about... I guess we have to get a lot more stability, so... I don't need a unique set bow or quiver two in a row. I guess I'll go this way. <clears throat> I need loot. That's what I need. Maybe we go try to finish Arena Tier 2. I think I have prophecies for us. I almost died to that. What? Oh, okay. Now I see why. Dead. <laughs> really would have been cool to have that 22% more endurance rather than shred duration. And now we have freaking bloodbirds again. I don't even want to fight this one. <laughs> Let me just leave. Let me just die. I really hate them. Especially when they're in the fucking healing bubble. Just start me over. <laughs> this is miserable. We've fallen into the... the trench here. Wait. Why didn't my bot say yo? Normally it does. Can you not say something after it? No 536? I'm not sure what the timestamp is for. Where's my bot at? He was here yesterday. I have to log in again. But how are you doing, Greg the Mac? Welcome to the chat. Okay. Walked on the buzzsaw there. Good guys can kill me surprisingly fast, so I'm trying to give them their respect here. Yeah. Slay spreading frost, but I'm spreading frost. That's gonna be slow going. Okay. Nope, get out of here. Try not die to it. What? Instantly? All my health? I'm pretty sure the health just went from full to nothing. And he had like one HP left. <laughs> this is miserable. Close. 
I feel like the screen is like shaking more in this place. Oh, you don't have to say exclamation point yo every time. It's supposed to be a bot command that uh, it says hi back to you, but for some reason it's not showing up. I think I just have to log into it again. Good thing I enjoy playing Ellie. I have a level 99 Forge Guard. Forge Guard is one I have not tried yet. Um, my paladin is a Smite Fire Paladin. Dude, what is going on with the screen shake in here? It's like unusually laggy. What the hell? I have to restart my game or something. Um, my favorite character so far has been my level 100 Squirrel Beastmaster that I've got a guide up on the channel for. I want to hit 100 with this Bee Rogue as well, but it's a struggle tonight. We just got to the Empowered Monolith, so obviously it makes sense that I need to you know, find my upgrades now, but I've got no legendary potential to work with currently. Gotta find dupes of my uh, existing legendaries. And then we did one Temporal Sanctum tonight on stream, but I got my least... I, I had a one LP hat that we changed, and I got my last place trait that I wanted. I wanted 22% endurance or a bunch of health, and I got increased armor shred duration, which is fine because it is changing to cold duration and a lot of my stuff is physical damage anyway, pretty much everything except the decoys. But I need survivability. <laughs> I don't even have max res, I realize now. I should probably get on that. With uh, idols. Oh shoot. This is an interesting build though that doesn't use health potions to heal. It just uses them as ammo for flasks. All right, we finally cleared that ridiculous place. Glancing blow. Sure, let's try it anyway. Do Oh, hey, I just noticed he was swinging his rock. Yep, swinging the chain. Didn't even notice. Walked right past him. That's a fail. <laughs> Immediate fail. I never know what's happening with that when they're on a different level of me. That one just hit me for almost all my health because it was above my head.
Biggest fail in the game, the loot system, how drop uniques and unique with LP. Eek! I could go grab some prophecies, like, to be fair, I could probably should go do that. Ah, no! Supposed to be able to get down here? How do I get over there? This way, I guess. The map looks like it's connected, but it ain't. Oh, you don't you don't have to type exclamation point yo every time, sorry. <laughs> that's just a a bot command that's not working presently, so you can just type. You don't have to do the yo part. <laughs> uh beating the arena boss, tier four, last option, 106 percent damage. Ooh, guaranteed item drop. The unique which dropped more than one time. Level 4 unique, level 15 unique. <laughs> so I've gotten... Thankfully, the, the way I play the game, I don't know if you're um, going to, like, m you know, max corruption, trying to go, like, tier 1000 corruption or whatever. Um, I like to basically get a character as high as I enjoy playing it, and then I kind of hit a wall, and then I make a new character. But, like, this character I only rolled specifically because I found the B and decoy stuff, but then I found a 4 LP vol vial of volatile ice, which I'm showing now. And I was like, well, that's my only 4 LP I've ever gotten, so let's go ahead and make the Flask Joshi is the name of the character, but um, this is our only chance to really try to make use of those B things with the Acid Flask benefit uh, when I have the vial of volatile ice 4 LP. But yeah, like right now, like Frozen Ire is the staff that I have, the scepter that I have, and I need uh, like a 2 LP Frozen Ire really to get an upgrade. I would take a 1 just to try and get something better, but I need um, the, what is it, the relic that I have. I need a new one. 1 or 2 LP would be fine. Fight is mostly hard and challenging, but the reward is unique items. 80 levels under my character can't use them, and that's really bad. I agree. So... Endgame for Last Epoch, I really have only gotten to 300 corruption on the uh, Squirrel Beastmaster, and I know that I can clear that. I don't really feel much need to push farther than that, though, and I know that it's just a loot hunt at that point. And to your point, like, even the hardest stuff doesn't guarantee upgrades, um, you know, so it's... I think the end game of Last Epoch is probably the toughest spot it's in right now. I did see, though, that their ideas for, um, what's it called, uh, patch 1.1 is going to be called Pinnacle Content, and they said that's going to be a very, very difficult, challenging content, so I'm curious if that will have some sort of uh, reward system as well, or if that's just going to be like more leaderboards, or more chances at loot, or I don't know what, but um, they did say like endgame is the next thing that they're doing with this pinnacle content. We just don't know what that looks like yet, really. And I thought 1.1 was going to be here faster, to be honest, but uh, launch month, you know, tons of bugs to be fixed still even, so uh, definitely can't fault them for not, like, trying to push further immediately, you know, give people some time to, to cut their teeth on the game and, and rotate out and then bring uh, 1.1 when they think they can get some, poor pe some more people back. Excuse me, not poor people. <laughs> Uh, and then PoE2, not PoE2, Path of Exile, like, new season just came out, like, today, I think. So also give give time for people to uh, play that for a week or two. Probably makes sense before just pushing your update when everyone's busy with their other game in their genre that people play. There's only really Diablo, PoE, and Last Epoch. And Last Epoch is third place among them, I think, probably, in player base. Could be wrong on that. I don't know how many people are playing Diablo 4 still, but I'm not actually one of them at the moment. <laughs> nice flash, but your gloves are level 15. Yeah. So, so here's a question for you then. What should I do about that? <laughs> I could get some purple gloves just to get some more heavy stats on. 
but the, the throwing damage is, is really good on it. Let me take a look at them again, to be sure. So I added throwing damage, 74% increased throwing damage, 47% increased dodge rating is really good. I mean, this is all good. I just don't have any room for stats because it's not LP. These are probably my weakest piece, actually, to your point. And this, this is level 9, but I need the potions to uh, to keep the, the chest pumping extra flask damage. So I think, like... Four pieces are required, and my rings are where I'm getting all my filler stats right now. Um, thankfully, they're very good rings. But, uh, I just I did one temporal sanctum tonight and failed. Oh god! <laughs> uh, all right. What is our goal for the stream? Should I try to hit 87? Should we just try to power through? I feel like we can we can finish these if I'm careful. from that guy. Stay away. <laughs> purple gloves or maybe craft some purple up to max to use the unique room to transform it. Wait. I haven't been doing that. Um, maybe you can help me with that. Let's finish this uh, echo and then I'll take a look. I have not transformed anything yet. I, that is a point. I thought that transforming just won't give you LP anyway, right? Is that so? I just haven't been doing it. But you're saying that I could glue the stats I want onto a purple and then transform, and it keeps some of them. I thought the only way to do it was uh, temporal sanctum to wait to improve stuff. Use the unique room to transform. Yeah, I haven't even done that or like thought of that. Can I do that with the belt too? <laughs> ah, no! Damn it, I hate the red. The red spire is the worst one. I can never see it on the ground. Right at the end, of course, I get rushed down. Stupid. <laughs> I love it. Anyway. So if I take some gloves. Let's take some. What? Health regen per second? Nah, I just kind of want to use some random. Throwing damage, freeze rate, crit avoidance, endurance. So these are all useful. So if I take these, uh, 
Rune of Ascendance changes the item into a unique or set item of the same type. Using this on a silver rune, turn it into blah, 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 blah. None of the other properties of the base item are retained. Or are you saying, or I could do that to try to get just better versions? But don't they have no LP if you do that? Or is that something I just made up? These gloves probably could be better even than the gloves I have on. Let's see. I would just need to add a bunch of damage. Throwing damage is already on them, but only not percentage. I don't know. I think these Riverbend grass are still pretty good comparatively here. Just I would love to have endurance on them. Do, 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 do. I think these are okay. But I, I just need stuff with LP. I guess I really should just be doing the... Uh, what are they called? Prophecies. To get more loot. Anyway. Really, I just need to keep killing stuff and not die. Skill issue. just keep running backwards. I mean, everything I do slows them. <laughs> they should never be able to catch me. Oh, but the freaking range bubble. Yeah, stupid. Yeah, I've never used them, so <laughs> I've got plenty. But the question is, do they do they act? Can they have LP on them if you use the rune? Because I feel like I've, I've read that they don't do that if you transform. But I might. I've never done it, so I don't actually know. Am I scared for no reason? And I'll say it again, you don't have to use the exclamation point yo every single time you chat. It's, it's amusing me. But the reason it says say yo in chat is because there's supposed to be a bot response and it's not working. <laughs> so I'm amused that you're typing yo every time, but you don't have to type yo every time. It's not doing anything. <laughs> it's not doing what it's supposed to. It's possible that no existing affixes are in the unique then. Uh-huh. Ah. Oh god. I was hitting every time you can hear me hit E and then it's like you're dead. It's like I shifted, man. As soon as I saw there were so many things around me, I tried to get out. It says you're immune while shifting, but not in the frames that's loading the shift, I guess. <laughs> or just in latency. Because I'm stupid and should not be that far in. Oh, I know these guys hurt. I remember them. My instinct is always just to jump into the pile because I want to kill the the healy guy or the bubble guy. But I'm made of glass. Just like these flasks. I'm Flask Joshi. Easy. Too easy. That's a great metaphor. The range on that slam is ridiculous, actually. Yeah. About the half gear I crafted myself wearing four or five purple max out items. Yeah, I think I can. I can afford to lose. Probably. Well, I like all the uniques I have, honestly. The gloves would probably be the weakest, the belt would be next, but I kind of need the improved uh, potion discovery rate, and I would have to slap that on a belt anyway. Let's see. 
There's still a lot of stuff I could do with my gear. I just, I would prefer to have my uniques that I've been using with LP. So it's just easy. It's just easier. Don't chase me. I'm scared. Ow. God, the range again. Silly. Is he patrolling? He is. Let's go get him. He's patrolling this way now. Be risking death so much. <laughs> All right, Echo conquered. That's a good one. Let's see. Let's try one more arena, and then I think I might call it a stream because we've been going for about two hours, and that's typically what I like to do so I don't get too burnt out. All right, we gotta figure out the old the square method again. Run in a square. That is way too many of those things. Oh, great. There's a freaking bubble, so... This is fun, right? I'm not dead. Another bubble. We hate bubbles. Oh, get out.
Oh, this is getting harder and harder. Ta-da! <laughs> that was tough. Beads? What about beads? Hello, Malark Schwag. I understand that you like to wear only uniques. Believe me, if I had good unique items, I would wear them. But as I said, often unique drop have a low level, and the purple items I found are more close to my will and have mostly more impact on my skills. Yep, that's true. I think there's just trade-off. I think these I could definitely switch to something purple, crafted, forged up. I would just like to... They're they're low level, but they're comparable to uh, some exalted stuff that I seen. Set shield, don't care. Go go go. This seems nuts. Yeah. <laughs> it was. It was. It was a little nuts. Um. Bees beads. Oh. oh. <laughs> Arrested development. The Arrested Development joke that I always think of first is the cha chi cha chi cha chi cha chi because none of them know what a ch none of them know what a chicken sounds like throughout the whole series. They all they call each other chicken, and then at once in one scene they actually all do it at the same time. <laughs> they all do the wrong. <laughs> Don't be a chicken, Michael. Cha chi cha chi cha chi. <laughs> But that's uh that's only the first of many jokes, obviously, that pop in my head. It's one banana, Michael. What could it cost? Ten dollars? I hate these stupid birds. Why can they survive a thousand frostbite? All right. Well, we got a bunch of stuff to look at here. And hi. I was saying earlier I was going to call it a stream, but now maybe we can just go. Nope. <laughs> I, I was going to call it a stream, but that arena was so hectic that it got my, my heart pumping again. And then we just I hate those bloodbirds, man. They're so annoying. I failed one temporal sanctum tonight, Mullark Schwang. I wanted, we put a, we finally beat tier two Jura, and we, we wanted either 22% endurance or like 75 health or something. And we got armor shred duration, which is like definitely the fourth place thing that was on that. <laughs> but dexterity, plus seven dexterity was the other one too, and that would have been nice. I need survivability more than I need some armor shred duration. So now I just don't have another bee hat, and we just have to find one. Like Oh, we just got to the empowered monoliths. Like very first thing on the stream tonight was me beating the uh, the couple of bosses needed to empower monoliths. And then we went to the Sanctum and failed. And now we're doing the monoliths as best we can. <laughs> so I'm getting slapped around a little bit. And I can't use health potions, don't forget. I'm still using them as bullets and not uh, healing. Good god, where are the skull piles, dude? I actually literally can't see them. Is that one? There's one.
I made a horrible mistake. That's always a, a classic Job line. And, uh... Ah! Yeah, I think I, I think I will actually call it a stream. I'm just kind of tired, and I need uh, I need some food. And I just died instantly too. I'm not even sure what. Apparently, it was a lightning bolt from Praetor Tyrannus, who was right there next to me and didn't even see him. That happens. That happens sometimes. You die to the thing that you didn't see, and you know it was right there. at The end. Oh well. Uh, still managed to make some progress here. We got like a level, level and a half. We got into the empowered monoliths and proved that we can clear them a bit. I just need to probably tune resistances. Looks like we have overkill on necrotic somehow. Um, but yeah, now that we were in the empowered monoliths I can slowly clear them and get the better blessings we did also miss the blessing for cold damage on here the first way first way up but here are some stats 461 percent cold damage 162 percent increased damage over time throwing damage should also be quite high yeah 246 and then freeze rate multiplier plus 666 percent look at that Just a coincidence. Um, poison chance is 7%, but that is ignite uh, changed to frostbite, actually, for acid flask. All right. Lovely stuff. Have a wonderful day or night, everybody. I'm going to actually just have some din din and watch some TV, but I will very likely stream tomorrow as well on Sunday, March 31st. So uh, enjoy your last epoch or whatever games you're playing, and we'll see you next time. Bye!